Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to this screencast. My name is Tim, and I'm going to be taking you through a very quick, simple way to create groups. The question has been asked how to create groups. When you log in to Yammer, you will notice on the left-hand side that there is a groups section. Now, if you've joined groups, you might see that there is a long list of groups, and you might not see this groups directory. So you might have to click on more. When you click on more, you will finally see groups directory. Clicking on groups directory will bring up all the groups that we have. Now there's a lot of groups because anybody is welcome to make a group, including yourself. When you create a group, click on create a new group. Now you do want to make sure that you're specific about what you want and there's different reasons and you would give your group a group name. So if I was making this uh, group specifically for my school, if I was making this group specifically for my school, I could type in school name and it would show up that it is available. I would give a description. This group is for just our school. Now the reason I would do that is that way people will know that um, maybe they don't need to join this group. And since it's a school group, you can click private. If you click private, then only invited people can come to this. Okay? I mean, it will show up, but they won't be able to just join. You'll have to approve them. Okay, and then again you can choose the same kind of options down here. Once you've created your group, school name, this is just for our school, whatever the school is, you can click on save. Once you've clicked on save, you will now see that it is a locked group over here. It says school name and it is locked. You can invite members, you can put in your uh, all the emails or you could tell people hey just go ahead and click on it and then you would be able to click on the word join and then you will have the option now you'll notice in some groups like if we go to the instructional technology group which oftentimes people want to join there it is you'll see that it's locked and if you read it it says internal communication with the Yammer community for instructional technology Okay, so this is internal communication for instructional technology. Uh, PSYOP has the same kind of thing. It says these are for teachers who are using or interested. Now it's locked, but that just means you could join it if you wanted to join it. Okay. Uh, IT Weekly is completely open. Tech Contacts, uh, again, same kind of thing. This is specifically for Tech Contacts, but we really don't keep anybody out of it. So you're welcome to join. And when I try to join, an email is going to be sent to my other account and it will ask can this person join so it's that simple you can create a new group you could create a group for fifth grade at your school you could create a group for upper grade at your school you can create a group for any reason that you want as long as it is appropriate for CMS and the enterprise that we are keep educating and I hope you're having a great day